I think this is an excellent step in the correct direction of wanting to see our church body and the body of Christ look like the Revelation 7-9 body, right, where it's not just um, predominantly white, but where there are people from all different ethnicities and um, different walks of life who represent the body of Christ. MLK 50 is a one-time conference celebrating uh, the life and the message of Dr. Martin Luther King, saying that we're not just here to memorialize his life, but we're here to continue the work. The baton is being passed to our generation. It's amazing to me when I read Dr. King's sermons or what he wrote, how much he just pours out God's Word. And so I think um, learning what it looks like to be rooted in that, it just overflows into a life that's really marked by justice and, um, and love. He was a man who loved the Lord and understood um, God loving justice and how that should be, you know, fleshed out in the church, how we should be modelers and Im image bearers of God loving justice and pursuing justice and considering the least of these and uh, pursuing re reconciliation peacefully. If it's important for us to be ministers of reconciliation, then it's important for us to um, to learn about how we can do that. Um, learn about from our the other communities of churches that are here, the speakers that are here. Um, and so if we just sit back in, in, uh, in our respective cities and talk about reconciliation but not learn from it, um, then I don't, I don't know how we're gonna do that. In light of the MLK 50 conference, um, we were invited out from the Village Church to come and open up the first session and perform live the new single that we released called Walk With You. We were able to put to music and to words some of those dialogues and some of the things that we are hoping other black and white people would come together and talk about and sort through and wrestle through. A man that lived his life regardless of what happened to him and ultimately ended in something tragic should motivate us that the cost is worth it. Um, and so when we're leaving from here, that's what we should remember is that he believed it was worth it and knew that it was worth it. So she, we should walk away in that same action. My hope personally is that we would move beyond the dinner table. What are we going to do as the body of Christ to go into communities uh, where there is diversity, to not just stay in our areas where we're comfortable, but to drive in our cars to areas where we can make a difference and where we can build relationships and where we can speak with our governing officials about injustices that we see in our country and begin to see uh, God's kingdom come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven.